So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Um, this is day 11 of practice. Um, so yeah, I've been thinking about why, why do I do this? You know, why am I here? You know, why? And so two days ago, one of my regular students who, who texts me almost every day after the class, um, she was saying that um, when we did the Kung Fu bunny, the, uh, the knee going out to the side, and then we brought our leg forward and we straightened it, it didn't quite make sense to her. She was like, yeah, I don't quite, it's not quite, you know. And so it was, it was an awesome text of using my language back at me, which was wonderful. And then so I went away and I was like, hmm, how would I do this now? And then that was the moment when I realized, oh, if you walk your hands back a bit more to the other side, your leg swings freely. And then today it's deepened and I'm understanding a bit more. And I think that's kind of the essence of why I'm here. You know, I love, I love teaching. I love, you know, hearing something and then going, hmm, how would I explain that? How would I work that out? How would I deepen into that in my understanding? And then share that understanding as I go. And then that deepens my experience of being in my body and it creates connection and community. Um, so why am I here? <laughs> um, connection and community and sharing this, like this knowing and this experience of being in a body. Um, so today we have loads of yummy stuff. Feet, you're noticing my feet are a bit sore at the moment. So I'm going to do some foot stuff with those today. Um, lunges and triangle. Um, triangles are just awesome. But we're going to open up the side body first on our knees. So have a blanket or a rolled up mat for your knees in the beginning, okay? So come, come, come. Uh, come into a child's pose first. So arms are long, rest your belly down. And just notice your feet. You know, are your feet flat to the floor or are the top of your feet pushing in and your ankles really high? Is it hard to have your feet flat or do you have, or is your bum forward because the pressure into your feet is hard? Is one foot different from the other? And just wiggle your toes there. How do your toes wiggle here? Go slowly. You know, these, when we, you know, when we're sitting upright and we look at our feet, we can wiggle our toes in one particular way. But when we change the relationship of everything else, our toes have to interact with the world in a totally different way. Just notice as you wiggle your toes, what happens in your body. Nice, come forward into your cat pose. And then lift your feet off the floor and just wiggle all your toes here. Can you separate your big toes and your baby toes out? Can you squeeze them in, separate them out and squeeze them in and then roll your feet in a circle here. See how it's really, it's a different organization. Your knees are going to be doing something different and then in the other direction. So I'm mirroring each other. So as my feet roll in, they both roll in, they both roll out. Nice. And then windscreen wipers, both to the right both to the left and i'm just experimenting how do my feet move here nice and then tuck your toes under so your toes are standing and then sit your bum back so now i'm stretching into the sole of my feet nice bring your toes to flat sit your bum back and you don't have to sit very far back it's as soon as you feel oh my feet are lengthening and stretching tuck your toes under sit your bum back you're not forcing your feet you're just discovering Hmm, feet, how are they this morning? Sit your bum back, toes are flat. Nice. So then bring your right foot forward so that your toes are on the floor just where your knee was. And then sit your bum back. And then drop your knee forward. So what we're trying to do is just listen. As I sit my bum back, I'm compressing into the foot. As I drop my knee forward, I'm stretching the foot. Just listen to your foot as you rock forward and backwards there. Nice, other side. Bring your left foot to where your left knee was. Sit your bum back. And we're listening, foot, feet. How are my feet this morning?
still, I can still feel the tango in my feet from Monday night. Jeannie Meanie's dancing around in high heels. High heels do such a thing to your feet. It's amazing. <laughs> nice. So, so tuck your toes under so that your toes are standing, you're in your cat pose, and then just stretch your right leg long behind you. And notice, is there much weight into your left foot at the moment? Is your left foot stabilizing you much? Is that the right English? You know what I mean. <laughs> Bring your right foot to the floor. Stretch your left foot back. Feel how your right foot has to stabilize you as you do this. And then come back. If that felt strong enough into your toes, stay there. Or walk your knees six inches forward towards your hands, tiny bit forward. Stretch your right leg back. Now your left foot has to stabilize more. Bend your knee. Toes are tucked under. Stretch your left foot back. Remember, you can reverse back to the layer before, the level before. Walk your knees a tiny bit more forward. So I'm walking towards my hands. Stretch the right leg back. Suddenly now my left foot has to work a lot more into the floor. All right, foot back. So coming all the way forward, it's more pressure into the hands as well. So see what's right for you. <laughs> right foot back. And left foot back. Hmm, super cool. Walk your knees all the way back. Sit your bum down. Make fists out of your hands and just roll into your wrists. Hmm. Let it be soft and steady and feel how something changes as you roll. Is this, uh, I remember somebody saying years ago that whenever they got tendinitis that they would make bread. And so this kneading movement is incredibly good for your hands and for your wrists. Open your fingers wide, make fists. Open your fingers wide and make fists. Nice. So if you want a blanket for underneath your knees, then do. I'm gonna turn sideways on my mat for this movement, but see what you need. You don't have to turn sideways. You'll just see this better, okay? So hands on the floor, knees on the floor. Have something underneath your knees if you wish. Round your back, cat pose, arch your back. So as you move, just listen. Notice how your toes are, your feet. If you want, you can have them tucked under or you can have your toes flat. Nice. So coming to a neutral spine, bring your right knee up in the direction of your right shoulder and then swing your right leg back behind you so it swings all the way around towards the left. Right knee up, so really squeeze it up towards your shoulder as much as you can. And then back towards the left. And squeezing up. Left. Squeezing up. Left. Nice. Other leg. Right leg, left leg comes up. Shoulder. Le right. Shoulder. So when I come up to the shoulder, I can feel how that squeezes my rib cage and my breath changes. If I'm breathing in when I do that, I go a little bit. <laughs> Whereas if I breathe out when I do it, I find that it's like, oh, it's much easier on my lungs. One more time. Nice. Right, come back to center. Now we're just going to go straight out to the side. So there we were going forward with our knee. Now we're going to go straight out towards the right. Straighten your leg, maybe. Bend your knee and down. Straight out to the left. Lift your knee directly up. Stay here or straighten your leg. Begin to travel from side to side, straight out to the right. Lengthen. Straight out to the left. Lengthen. One more time. Straight out to the right. Lengthen, straight out to the left, lengthen. So to swing your leg forward, this is a question that was asked the other day that I was like thinking, oh my God, that's amazing. So walk your hands back towards the left side so your hands are back near your knee and then swing your right foot forward and it's possibly easier to swing your right foot forward when you do that. Let's see, tell me what you think. Bring both hands forward, lean forward. And then either slide your hands back as you sit back or bring your hands back towards the left. 
or you can keep your hands where they are. If you're keeping your hands where they are, then your shoulders are stretching, your spine is stretching, your ribs are stretching. Whereas if you walk your hands back, then your leg is stretching. It's a different movement. If you want to find more about your leg, then just quieten the other places by walking your hands back. Nice. And bring your knee back to center. Bring your right foot out to the side, straight out, and then rising up. So my right foot is flat to the floor. I'm really trying to bring the baby toe side of my right foot down. And then sweep your left arm across into elephant. Okay. And then I kind of bend forward and I touch the floor down towards the left. Bending forward and then elephant. Down, touch the floor. Elephant. Touch the floor. One more time. Elephant and pause. So elephant, my arm is near the side of my face. I've got this sense of I've followed this amazing line of connectivity from the deep of my belly up into my rib cage. I've created the sense of connection. Squeeze your left bum a little bit more maybe. Stretch down into that right leg. Nice. And then bend your left elbow and then go sideways and touch the floor with your left hand. Bend your elbow, go straight up with your left hand. Nice. Sideways, touch the floor with your left hand. And then up. One more time. Sideways, touch the floor with your left hand. Hmm. And up. Nice. Bring your left hand all the way down. Let it come flat to the floor. Right hand to your hip and just lift your right foot off the floor. Push down into that right heel. Squeeze your bum and push your hips a little bit forward. So we're trying to engage and activate the deep of the pelvis. If you want, you can bring your fingers to the front of the right shoulder. Dial in your twist and then reach your right arm straight up towards the ceiling. Can you squeeze your bum a little bit more? Feel the front of your pubic bone really lengthening and widening. Breath is in your belly. Feel the connections through the whole of your torso. Things are working in all kinds of directions. Nice. Slowly rounding forward. Come forward into your cat pose. Nice, other side. So, what did I do? Oh yes. So walk your right hands back, hands back towards the right. Swing the left foot forward. And then either decide to either bring your hands forward as you stretch out through that left leg, or you can slide your hands back to the side. You can slide your hands back. You can keep your hands where they are. Let there be movement. So if you find that, oh, when my hands are there, I can't move, then find a place where there is movement. So in the, in the yoga that I practice, it isn't about going to the end of your range and finding rigidity because then we're practicing rigidity. And that's not what we're doing. We're practicing flow and ease and connection, possibilities, wellness. One more time. Super cool. Bring your foot back, knees together, and then swing your left foot out to the side and then all the way up. Put something underneath your right knee if you wish. So elephant, sweep the right hand across and to the side of your eye, side of your face. And then rounding forward, touch the floor with your right hand. Up, elephant, down, touch. Up, squeeze your bum, lean forward with your hips. Down, one more time. Up and hold. So that sense of belly, hip, length through the side of my waist into my armpit. I'm going to squeeze my bum as I lengthen down into that left leg. Really create a foundation by pushing down into the floor with my knee and my foot. And that kind of surges connection up through my body. I feel like, oh, I feel the connectivity as I do this. Nice. Coming all the way down. Touch the floor sideways with your right hand and then reach up toward the ceiling. And between the two, I'm bending my elbow. Bend my elbow, 
touch the floor, bend my elbow, reaching up, bend my elbow, touch the floor, come all the way down. So my left, right hand is on the floor. Bring your left hand to your hip and lift your left foot off the floor. So I'm surging down into the heel and I'm going to squeeze my bum and push my hips a little bit forward. So I have this sense of, oh, I can feel the architecture of my pelvis and the connectivity of that which holds me up. If you want, dial in your twist by pulling your right elbow, no, left elbow up. Keep your right elbow where it is. <laughs> and then reaching up towards the ceiling. And I really want to get stronger into the inner thigh. And to do that, I push into the floor more and I build from below. So as I push down into the right knee, I can feel my inner thigh lengthen and strengthen. Nice. Rounding down. Come down. Cool. Push back into your downward dog, creating length back through your body. Wiggle a little bit. So I got a lovely text from Kay yesterday. Kay's in Austria on holidays. And she was saying, oh, is this the first time somebody from Austria has done the yoga? And actually, no, weirdly enough. So walking back, bring your elbows to your knees. So Josef, my partner, who plays cello downstairs during the class, he's from Austria. So we have quite a few friends in Austria who are doing the yoga, and they're in the day later club. Hands to your knees. And then slowly coming up, hands to your hips. So the day later club is... Because they're an hour before us, if they were going to do the yoga, it would be eight o'clock in the morning that they would be doing it. So that's too late. So that they do it six o'clock in the morning, the day later. It's quite cool. Uli and Karina. <laughs> Very nice. Super. So stand to the front of your mat and just feel your stand. Maybe just lift your right foot, roll your foot. Roll in the other direction. Check out your balance. It's a really dynamic, ever-changing, ever-moving thing. And then the other side. Hmm. Roll into your left foot and feel the articulation of your foot. You know, get really powerful and strong into your foot. Now, nice. both feet to the floor. So you're going to step back with the left foot. So to do that, you're going to bend forward, bring your right hand to your right knee. Lean your left leg back so we're balancing and then bring your foot to the floor. So we swing the left leg back. My back foot's at a 45 degree angle and my front foot is pointing directly forward. Bring your hands to your hips and turn your hips like a steering wheel towards the front. And then bend your front knee. So for me, I feel like, oh, I want to go a bit wider. So I'm going to wiggle my feet a little bit and go, oh, that feels really cool now. I feel my front leg is engaged and my back leg is lengthening. So we're going to do a little bit of a whew, army flow. So reach your arms up and come into goal post. Nice. Dive your arms forward and down. Draw your forehead down towards your knee. If you want support, bring your hands to your leg always. Forehead down towards your knee as you reach your arms back. Sweep your arms up. Goal post. Really sinking deeper into your legs. Reaching up. Sweep your arms down and back. Forehead to your knee. One more time. Rising up. Pull your elbows down. Reaching up. Feel the length all the way through your body. Get really deliciously long upwards. And then sweeping down. And reach your arms back. Nice. Bring both hands to your front leg. Pushing up. And then pull your left elbow back into bow and arrow. So your left elbow, you're making a fist. And you're pulling back like you have a bow and arrow in your hand. And then slingshot. So turn your two palms face up and then reach your right hand back or pull your right elbow back and reach your left hand forward. Pause there. Feel the deep twist in your torso. Nice. Bring both hands forward. Hop the back foot. Hop, hop, hop. All the way forward, front of your mat. Nice. Mm. We won't get to triangles. We'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> so step the right leg back. So lean forward, hold down to the left leg. Step the right foot back. Okay. Turn your hips towards your left leg. So it's like a steering wheel. You're like forward. Bend your front knee. I want to go a little bit wider just because I like that. Great. 
Mm, reach your arms up. Reaching up, pull your elbows down into goal pose. Get juicy and delicious into your torso. Reaching up, sweep your arms down. Again, always you can reach, bring your left hand to your left knee as you reach your right arm back, or you can reach both arms back. Decide about the strength of your leg and support it in wellness. Reaching up, sweeping back. Support yourself if you need to. Sweeping up. Last time, get really long, reaching up, looking up. Back leg is super strong. Feel the floor connecting down, and that gives you more reach up. Cool, sweeping all the way back. Great, bring your left hand to your left knee, rising up. Pull your right elbow back into bow and arrow. So my right fist is really strong. My left hand is pointing forward like I have a bow and arrow. And then slingshot, turn your two palms upwards and then reach your right hand forward. Feel the twist in your torso as you do this. Hold it, breathing. Left elbow's deeply pulling back. Right hand is reaching forward. Super awesome. Bring both hands down to your front knee. Hop in small hops. Hop, <laughs> hop. Come lie on the floor. How cool. Nice. Landing on the floor. Resting. So tomorrow will be dead bugs and triangles and maybe some balance. Yum. Let your breath settle. That slingshot twist is just so awesome. Wow, I love it. And just sway your knees from side to side. Just feel, you know, gather up anything. Oh, I had so many really, really funny texts. Yesterday, randomly, I talked about, you know, the brown bread of your practice or the potatoes of your practice, you know, the kind of the staple solidness that you refer to or that you'll return to or that if you got it down on the floor, that this would be something that you would do. So um, Nada from France was saying gliders. I was saying gliders. Margaret from America was saying a child's pose is the one for her. Um, Neve, Neve said something. Oh, yeah. I think she she loved the lunges yesterday, but yeah, I can't remember what her potatoes were. <laughs> the potatoes of your practice. So Irish, so funny. So just rock from side to side, and settling in. So I know why I'm here. You know, I know why I commit to this and the, the joy it brings to my life and the, the platform of connection and of teaching it creates for me. Why are you here? You know, what is it for you in your life, in your body? Like, why are you here? And can you commit to that as your practice? Oh, I'm cultivating connection and community. Oh, I feel better when I do this. Oh, I, whatever it is, find your why and turn up. So I'll see y'all tomorrow uh, for triangles. I didn't get to them today. It's okay. And some dead bugs. Um, always a great thing. And um, yeah, thanks for joining me. Uh, really is very lovely to be here. Um, teaching, chatting, connecting, creating. Nice, lovely. Bye-bye. Mm,